What's going on guys and welcome to the video. Today's vehicle is a 2017 Ford Escape that we are gonna get fully detailed. Now looking around the vehicle, we've got some dirty wheels and tires to get clean. The front end is absolutely covered in bugs and the rest of the vehicle has a nice layer of dirt on it. Moving inside and the first thing that's clear to me is that the owner's dog has left all of its hair in the trunk, but I'll show you how to make really quick work of that. Then it's also clear the vehicle drives on gravel roads a fair bit, so all of the door jams are full of caked on dirt. And if that's not enough, there's a nice collection of dirt, dog hair, and red dirt throughout the rest of the car. This thing is gonna undergo a serious transformation, guys. So just before we jump into it, take a quick second, subscribe to the channel, and turn the bell on so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, guys, it's time to get going on transforming this vehicle back to looking brand new. So without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so as we get started here, I just wanted to say welcome back to all the regular viewers. And for those of you who are new to the channel, glad to have you here. And I'm super excited for you guys to see the transformation this car undergoes today. I'm doing a few things on this one I don't usually do. And also testing out a new tool for removing all of that dog hair. So you guys are really gonna enjoy this one. So just to go that extra bit further on this car, I'm spraying on an iron remover that's going to react with any iron particles on the wheels here. And obviously there's a bunch on the rotors there. So when it reacts with the iron, it uh, turns purple, which is pretty cool to watch. Uh, so I'll do that on each wheel and then rinse it off after a couple of minutes. Now for all those bugs, I'm spraying on some Wolfgang Bug Remover Spritz, and this stuff works really, really well to help dissolve what's left of the bugs, so you don't have to put a ton of effort into scrubbing them off with a wash mitt, and it's also perfectly safe for paint. I've got a link for this and almost every other product or tool I use in the description below, so feel free to check those out if you guys are interested. Now with the car all foamed up, I'm using a detail brush to get into all those tight areas and crevices to help get some of the bugs and the other dirt lifted out. And I figured this was a perfect time to ask you guys to go give me a quick follow over on Instagram. I try to post as much as I can on there. Usually it's some behind the scenes kind of stuff and sneak peeks of new videos. So you guys might have noticed in the last couple of videos, but it's been kind of cold here in Saskatchewan for, I don't know, about the past month or so, especially in the mornings. However, that's actually uh, been helping me out because I'm usually washing the vehicle like mid morning, you know, when it's maybe only like 10 to 15 degrees out. So I haven't had any issue with the sun drying the soap before I can get it rinsed off the car. Uh, but that has me curious for those of you in hotter climates out there who can't wash a vehicle in the shade. Like what do you guys do to combat the soap drying or, you know, even water drying and leaving water spots? Uh, let me know down in the comments. It's usually not something I have to deal with. So I'm kind of curious what the answer is if there is one. All right, so pulling the car into the garage here gives me a chance to take a little bit of a break before starting to dry. So I can go try to track down Mike for you guys. Fortunately, he wasn't busy today and came out to give me a hand. Um, but I have to address something now that he's here. So there's been a few comments over the last few videos where people have questioned the legitimacy of Mike, you know, and whether or not he's actually a real person. I'm not sure where that comes from. He's clearly my identical twin. Um, Mike's been pretty upset about that so if you guys could do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button on this video it would really go a long way to cheering Mike up and kind of letting him know that you guys have his back. Alright so now I'm addressing one of the dirtiest parts of the car and that's all those door jams. So using some all-purpose cleaner and a detail brush I'm getting into all the hinges and really anywhere that the dirt has gotten into then wiping everything down with a damp microfiber towel to get them nice and clean. Now 
moving inside now to start removing all the personal items and honestly guys I've started to oddly look forward to this part of the detail to you know a see just how much stuff people leave when they drop their vehicle off and B to see if there's any like odd or weird items in the car that I can show you guys and I'm sure the owner would have been a little bit embarrassed to know that there was a pair of super stinky and crusty socks stuck under the driver's seat uh, but that is exactly why I wear gloves to do this because honestly I never know what I'm gonna find all right, so it's time to get the vacuum plugged in and start on all that dog hair. And a few months back, I had a vehicle in that had piles of dog hair in it. And someone commented telling me about a Lily brush and how amazing they were. So I figured I'd give it a shot. I bought one off Amazon for like $13 Canadian. So we're gonna give this little brush a try here today and see what it can do. And now funny enough, the four picture on the package is basically exactly what I'm dealing with in this car. So let's see if we can get the same results that it's advertising. Now as satisfying as that is to watch guys, I can assure you it is even more satisfying to actually do. But if I'm being honest, I would rather not have to pull handfuls of dog hair from a vehicle. But this Lily brush worked incredibly well and it only took me a minute and a half to get probably 90% of the hair out when I guarantee you without it, I could have been vacuuming for at least a half an hour. Now again, for one pass, this did an amazing job, but because I'm a perfectionist, I needed to get every single hair out. So I used my carpet brush and then followed up with another pass with the Lily brush. But if you guys were just looking to get the majority of the hair out, you know, super quickly, this brush is absolutely perfect for that. The link to it is in the description. So if any of you have ever struggled with pet hair, uh, this brush will work wonders for you and it's super, super cheap too. Now for some reason Ford decided to put, you know, basically shag carpet in the back of this vehicle. So some of Fido's hairs were literally glued into the deepest fibers and pretty much almost impossible to get out. Uh, but if you guys are like me at all, and if I can visually see the hair in the carpet, there is no way that I can leave it behind. Uh, you know, because the customer would see that too and it would really just be a poor reflection on me. Uh, so I try as hard as I can to make each vehicle as perfect as possible. So similar to the Tiguan from the last video, there was a bunch of dirt embedded in the carpet along the edges of the floor mat in the driver's footwell. So using the drill brush, I can get those loosened up without really a whole lot of effort and then get them sucked up with the vacuum. Okay, so now that the floor mats have been vacuumed and because these are fairly dirty, I'm going to spray on my carpet cleaning solution, get them agitated with the drill brush and then use my extractor to get them nice and clean. And now since I know a lot of you have been asking me questions on this, I figured I may as well share with everyone. So the carpet cleaning solution I'm using is Chemical Guys Fabric Clean and it's diluted down to 20 to one, but I'm only using hot water in the extractor. 
Now you guys can definitely use solution in it if you want, um, but I don't because with just hot water in there, it gives me the chance, you know, to make multiple passes, spraying down some water, uh, helping to further dilute the remaining solution in the carpet and just making sure that I get it all out. So my thoughts on the solution itself, now that I've been using it for a while, I'd say if used correctly, it does a perfectly adequate job. Uh, the gallon jug that I bought for like 40 bucks is, you know, it's probably gonna last a really, really long time. Um, I've hardly used any of it so far and I've done a ton of carpet. So value wise, it's definitely a winner. As for the drill brush, these things are incredibly useful. And the fact that you get four to five attachments, uh, you know, for around like 20 bucks is honestly a really, really good deal. And then pairing it all with the Bissell Spot Clean Professional, which is a really high quality little unit, really makes cleaning carpets um, more fun than anything and something I definitely have been looking forward to when I'm detailing. So if any of you guys haven't picked one of these up yet, I would highly recommend it. Again, the link is in the description, so just make sure you check that out if you guys are interested. Moving on to applying my favorite product, which is Aerospace 303. And a lot of you have been asking me where I got these microfiber applicator pads from. And I actually got them from autogeek.net many, many years ago. I think they came in like a pack of six or eight. And I've used them practically like a million times since then. And only now are they've, they're actually starting to wear out a little bit. So uh, if any of you guys go looking for them and find them on there, make sure you let me know so that I can snag a couple more too. So since I have this vehicle for the whole day, I figured I'd show you guys something that you don't often see in my videos and that's decontaminating the paint. So using some detailing clay and after spraying on some quick detailer for lubrication, I'm rubbing the clay over the paint, which picks up and removes any surface bonded contaminants, uh, things such as you know tar or sap, road grime, you know, anything else that might be bonded to the paint that didn't come off when I washed the car. And after claying the whole car, it's going to leave the paint perfectly clean and super slick. So it'll be ready for a coat of wax. And now it's going to look as good as it possibly could. Now, usually I'll use an all-in-one cleaner wax, but in this case, I'm using a synthetic sealant, which lasts a little bit longer. So using my dual action polisher, I'll toss on a finishing pad and apply a nice even layer of sealant to the car. Wait about 15 minutes for it to dry and then remove it with a microfiber towel. Next up is to apply Aerospace 303 to all the exterior plastics since this does such a great job at UV protection but also really makes all the black trim pop and just gives it that nice finishing touch.
Last up is the tires. And for that, I'm using CarPro Pearl diluted two to one, and that's gonna leave them with a matte black look when it dries. All right guys, we are done. We've got this Ford Escape fully detailed and looking pretty. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And for those of you who have stuck around right to the end, go ahead and comment hashtag Mike eats bread. Don't ask me why, just no particular reason. Just Mike eats bread. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and turn the bell on. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.